guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Crew Mode. Bleed against Genk, so we've been on decent form so far, uh, but we are still a month away from the January transfer window, which is a little frustrating, as I would really like to see basically one or two, a couple of those players uh, come into the team. Regardless though, um, I am going to do what I usually do, and I'm going to switch to a center forward role. I really like him there. Also, I'm thinking along the lines of me switching uh, Dujon Sterling to the uh, left back position. I just really don't like the tech. And by the way, talking about someone, Bertrand Traore is coming back into the team, and I think he's going to be the one who plays as the center forward. So, so Masanda isn't part of the thing, so Masanda is out, and Bertrand Traore at the. Uh, center forward position. Really looking forward to seeing him through. So yeah, um, it's all good. Let's get into this match versus Genk and give it a go. So yeah, obviously in the Europa League we had a bit of a questionable start. We've uh, hit the heights that I think were expected of us in the recent few games. I think it's time to take our talents and hopefully grab a key victory here. And by the way, Marcos Alonso we could be getting him in January, uh, if what happens on the vote, so. So moving into this match versus Genk in the Europa League, uh, obviously this is a key match. Hopefully a victory here will be able to secure our spot in the Europa League knockout stages and just get us an opportunity to play against a lot more uh, fantastic teams. So obviously the Europa League, there's an additional round, the round of 32, so provides us in even more opportunities to go along and find some players to choose. Regardless though, um, obviously Genk have great players, Moses Simo, uh, and yeah, just, they're going to be a great challenge. But talking about FIFA 18, by the way, do you get 4, 3, 3, false 9, uh, big change, Bertrand Traore comes in at center forward, so the Genk lineup, so Naranjo, uh, Euronen, Matthew Ryan. He wouldn't be a bad backup keeper, to be honest with you, but a 4-3-3, um, we have a little bit more depth in the midfield, so that might be able to help us. But yeah, by the way, I was talking about the icons thing, like some example like Thierry. Oh, jeez, again. Ugh. Okay, I'm giving this a few more minutes, and I might actually take off Dujon Surly. Like, he's been legitimately horrific. Um, okay, Dujon Surly, I'm done with this garbage. Okay, so I want to make sure of substitution at this point. Okay, so Triari is going to come on through the wing for Shrievers. Triari is a left footer. And okay, alright. Shrievers is going to come off for Bashuai. Sana is going to come on for. Uh, I'm going to do him a switch. Gonzalez for Almiron in the midfield. Sana is going to come on there. Uh, we need some changes, just it's getting a little annoying. Bertrand Traore, Bertrand Traore, it's Traore, it's Ducore, it's Ducore, it's Alberto Ducore, and there we go, the changes make an immediate impact, it's Alberto Ducore, who smashes in the rebound, a really good skill move by Bertrand Traore, poor from the goalkeeper, but it's a smashing hit. Great power right into the net there. Keeper did not get set. And, well, it cost him. And there we go. Literally on the verge of halftime, we score. And as we go into halftime, I already made my three substitutions, so let's just uh, get into this second half. I'm trying to switch as quick as I could, but they just didn't seem to be having it. It's Triore. It's Triore. Bashuai, it's Mishi Bashuai, it's two. It's Mishi Bashuai with a thunder strike right into the top left corner. And Mishi finishes the game off. And Genk are as good as gone. Brilliant play in there. Decided to just be simple and ram that ball right into the top left corner. What a hit, son. What a hit. Keeper never stood a chance there. 
What a goal! What an absolute beauty! And a great way to finish this game off. And there we go, that's the end of the game. A 2-0 victory over Genk. A very good result for us. We were absolutely value for it. And yeah, just extremely pleased to uh, grab a big victory. Alright guys, so this is the lineup we're going to be taking into the Premier League match versus Bournemouth. That is right. So, Bertrand Traor is going to be taking his spot on the left side of the front three. So, obviously we want to grab a big victory, and I think we have the team to do so. So obviously I'm very pleased with the additions, uh, potentially, that are going to be made in January. We had a pretty good player, I'd say, that we managed to take off our uh, gank. So pleased about that, but regardless, this is a very strong team, taking it to the match for Bournemouth, and I there's definitely one or two players I would be pretty pleased to have on the team. Alright, so, second game of the episode, we're getting into the match versus Bournemouth. So, they have a great young manager, Eddie Howe, a pretty good team, I'd say. Solid Premier League mid-table team, uh, obviously two of the big purchases have been purely great. Lewis Cook. And then Jordan Ibe has been a complete flop there. 15 million Liverpool managed to get off of Bournemouth for him. Wow. I mean, he looked really good, but jeez, 15 million. Yeah, regardless, uh, we're going to take a look at the two teams now. So, firstly, we are having the Chelsea lineup. So, we're running a 4-3-3 false nine. Uh, obviously, front three, Bashuai, Masanda, and Traore. Obviously, looking forward to big things from them. And we got a bunch of players on the bench who can provide a pretty good role to the team. And then Bournemouth. So they're running a 4 2 2 2. Pretty much my formation in the crew mode. Cal Wilson, Cook, Gridel, King. Uh, Jack Wilshire is starting on the bench. Uh, yeah. It's okay, team. It's a pretty good team. So, uh, good challenge. Hopefully, we can uh, face off against them. I mean, Jack Wilshere is a bit of a shame that he's on loan, but at the same time, uh, I've already used him in the other series, so it's not bad not to be able to use him in all honesty. Okay, now it's Joshua King. Oh my, Thibaut Courtois brilliance. Coming clutch when it matters most. Okay, well that pass was just, oh, we have been so bad in the first few minutes. Oh, oh, yo, <laughs> we uh, might have some luck on our side. Come on, it's headed in. Oh, Bashuai again. We're getting chances, just, yeah. Okay, all right, Ming's under pressure. Can't get it there, okay. Have to be a little bit careful with Dukori, unfortunately, as, well, we don't want to get him sent off. Some saw. Okay, that's the end of the first half. Um, not much to say. We were particularly just meh. I think Rio Henry's gonna be brought off for uh, Vitek, Masanda. Uh, I don't see any change to really make to the team. Uh, Decore could potentially be coming off uh, in a few minutes, but right now the team's fine. Masanda, Masanda! Oh, good save, Amaran. Bashuai, Bashuai! What a save! I hit. What a save by hits there. Okay, okay, come on. Oh my god! Well, that ref was useless. And so were we. <laughs> um, we probably should have won that game. We played much better than Bournemouth. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind we deserve that, but we just simply didn't put our chances away. And we were going to get another one last minute, and the ref proceeded to blow the friggin' whistle. I believe the phrase is... Incompetent? But yeah, regardless, uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. So, yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be getting into the January transfer window. So we're going to be getting into the January transfer window. So, uh, next episode, that will be when it starts. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace!